afternoon. You guys know it's Monday, so it took me a minute before I could get on, but I definitely um, had all intentions on getting on today. Today is Monday. Let's set the tone for our week, ladies. Good morning. Come through. All right. There go my girls. I see y'all come through. Come through. Good morning. Where y'all was at last night on my uh, um, clubhouse? Yeah, you missed the clubhouse. Yes, you did. You did. Good morning. Can't wait to see you in June. Uh, sweetie, can't wait to see you either. And two, um, you know, it was a test trial with the clubhouse last night, you know, so it gave me uh, a better direction on how I want to facilitate that, you know. Um, so I just kind of had it um, as open discussion, but we are going to definitely try to do club houses on the weekend so that, you know, we can talk about the week, talk about things that have talked about on the live, you know, better preparing you guys for. So I really am going to embrace that platform. It was so nice to see some of you guys faces and be able to hear your voices. Um, and everything. So, uh, yeah, we're going to, you know, I'm just getting information on how this platform works and how I want to facilitate getting you guys voices, hearing you guys voice, um, helping you get a better, uh, understand, um, hi, uh, better understanding on, um, you know, what to do. And, and you guys can always go to clubhouse and replay, uh, last night's clubhouse. Uh, we did have about five or six people on awesome, awesome, awesome. Um, so you guys got me enough numbers to get you guys invited in. So again, uh, you guys could go ahead and listen to that open discussion. Um, it was so sad because this morning I received the, um, a video from Alicia uh, Williams, who was on Clubhouse, who talked about, you know, her son dying and don't, uh, her, the organs um, were donated. Um, and she had the privilege to uh, build a relationship with one of the uh, families that received the uh, uh, organ of her son. And the twist of faith to all of that, I was just in tears when I seen the video. The actual guy is like her son dying twice. The actual guy that uh, received, um, I believe it was the liver of her son, um, got, him and his wife got murdered. Um, I, I don't know. I, I need to talk to her today. I'm not sure if you receive a, a donated organ. Could he have donated that organ again? I'm not sure. But she was on Clubhouse last night. And... <clears throat> and um, I just want us to pray. Um, basically, you know, she's just going through something like really going over and it was a news broadcast. So ladies, we have a lot of us on here have a lot of issues and a lot of things that's going on in our lives. And we really need each other to connect to even as we make decisions to move forward with this process. You know, we can show love across, you know, uh, th this United States to each other. And so the clubhouse really gave her an opportunity and an outlet just to be able to talk to somebody, people that probably will understand because sometimes you just feel like when you're making your decision, even with surgery, that you're going through some of this alone. Your family doesn't um, understand, you know, um, you have your fears and sometimes just being on live, you know, you guys are just posting and like, again, I'm, I'm going to put my glasses on when I need to okay you guys indeed i had to go buy me some from the corner drugstore because i keep losing mine but anyway i'll put these on good morning and so again i just think that these these avenues are something that we need for healing for direction for encouragement for uplifting for strength and and even if it's just one person i'm going to talk to you like you're 50 people okay um so um, one of the things I just wanted to reiterate, I know my daughter, she surprised me. She got on um, live this morning and um, we decided to do a Mother's Day promo, which will only last until May 9th. Um, you guys, um, we were talking, <clears throat> I was talking with a young lady who was trying to make a decision, you know, and you put out a, a large uh, amount and it seems like a large amount. 
But when you penny pinch yourself with food and travel and all of this and stuff, um, having to buy your supplies and all of that, you guys know that this is a deal that you really can't um, <clears throat> can't dispute. And um, I know other recovery houses is like, oh, my God, you know, how is she able to do that or whatever? God with God. God is saying, you know, especially for those mothers, let's let's bless. You know, I am still a business. But a lot of times it'd be about y'all more than it'd be about the money. So we are offering five days, one day free. Um, This is our gift to you for Mother's Day. All we want you to do is bring yourself, bring your toiletries and your robe and slippers and stuff like that. Everything else is on us. Every garment, chuck pad, Tylenol PM, you name it. Three free massages and free taping if needed. Um, because these things are the things that they that drain us, you know, when we're getting the surgery. Um, these little detailed things, you know, um, are the things that um, we don't really... Uh, count up for so in case of emergencies or anything happen like you don't have to run out and get this run out and get it we are going to totally take care of you in all of your needs you know post garment post surgical garments whatever surgery that you're having your gauze pads whatever we are here to take care of you and that is what the promo is and it as for any dates after May 9th, and I picked those dates too because I uh, have more availability. Um, it will definitely plug up some holes that I have to give girls opportunities to get in um, and just be carefree. And I know a lot of ladies are saying, oh my God, she always run a promotion after I booked or whatever. For those that have booked with me and are within those dates, call me. We will work something out, okay? Um I, I I think that I used to say these are for uh, those that have um, our new bookings. But again, this is my gift to you guys um, because you're trying to do something for yourself. So again, the deadline will be May 9th. Um, All inclusive package um, for five, six days, six nights. You leave on the seventh day. Um, so I just want to put that out there. But I also just got on because I just want to start this week off with some affirmation. You guys like my hair? I'm going to post um, this. I, I don't know how to curl. I should have curled it. But we also want to do some different things. I have a young lady who is willing to come and do your hair. If, in fact, you want to book with her out, um, she will travel to do your hair. Um, I know that a lot of you guys don't um, know. Just have your hair ready to be done. Bring your wig or bring, you know, um, you have your hair undone because it's ain't no beauty contest, you know, for Mother's Day. You know, those that are coming that want to come back and, and, and just look extra special and, and don't have to look like the surgery. Um, my daughter, um, she has a lovely ponytail. And just for her to want to give into the house, to give her time and services, she'll be willing to come and do your hair. You just let me know if, in fact, you want your hair done. Um, she will travel and, 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 and do your hair. She uh, requires that you have your hair ready to be done because we don't want you sitting a long period of time. Um, she does everything from lace front uh, ponytails, you know, something that you can look cute um, while you're healing, something that's simple to do, but she is awesome. You know, she's very, she's awesome at what she does. So um, I'm going to post um, iCandice, um Instagram page on um, because she is willing to um, give services to you guys. I also wanted to get like a nail tech that can come and, and sit and do you guys nails and stuff. So those are things that we're looking forward to. So again, um, if you guys are looking to get, your, especially for those coming in around Mother's Day, you know, because you know you ain't going to be able to do shit. So if you want her to do your hair and just do it in a style that you guys are really going to uh, be able to keep up with. So I wanted to put that out there.